Welcome to Walmart, your New World Order dreamland. The truth is, this mega retail corporation epitomizes everything wrong with society and culture today. Look no further than this slave goods, GMO, chemical foods wasteland to see just what America is now all about. This is all part of the plan and design. The old days of small town America where businesses helped each other and the community to thrive, ancient history. Walmart came in and launched a frontal assault on mom and pop businesses all over the world. You see, when a Walmart moves into a small town, they destroy the community by underselling all the locally owned businesses which depletes tax base and turns the downtown into a blighted ghost town. It's destroyed tens of thousands of small businesses and countless manufacturing jobs over the past couple of decades. And of course, despite the fact that all you will find at Walmart are extremely low quality cheap goods manufactured overseas in slave labor concentration camps, mostly from China, millions still flock to consume. Yes, around 80% of all Walmart suppliers are in China. Slaves in China manufacturing and slaves in America stocking the shelves, running the cash registers and falling for the scam that they are saving money by purchasing these cheap goods from Walmart. The fact is, this devouring beast of a corporation ruthlessly stomps on workers, neighborhoods, competitors, and suppliers. It has and will continue to destroy the world economy and labor force. It is the perfect New World Order enterprise. The Walton family, which controls Walmart today and is actually the richest family in the United States, lives on blood money. They operate jointly with the City of London Wall Street bankers. The truth is, this family became one of the world's wealthiest families by decimating the US and world physical economies. The Wall Street City of London financier oligarchs have financially backed and in fact directed the development of Walmart since it was founded in 1962 by Sam Walton, who also founded Sam's Club. Ironically, this is a man who is highly respected by THE club, make no mistake about that. Sam Walton was a captain in U.S. Army intelligence and friends with none other than the New World Order Bush family themselves and George Bush Sr. The Walton family's support for the Bushes goes back many years. Back in 2002, John Walton, son of Sam Walton, contributed $325,000 to Jeb Bush, brother of George Bush and former governor of Florida. Should anyone be surprised? Nearly a day doesn't go by where I don't hear from a senior concerned about the rising cost of prescription drugs. And we're doing something about it in Florida. We've passed the prescription drug benefit for lower income seniors. It will be a benefit of $160 a month that will make it possible for people to afford the drugs that they need and not have to make these incredibly difficult choices between paying rent or food and paying for the drug costs. And with this extra benefit for seniors, I'm convinced that a whole lot of people can have peace of mind. So we can now understand and realize why George Bush Sr. became very emotional for Sam Walton during the ceremony for the Presidential Medal of Freedom, which was awarded to Sam Walton by Bush. It is dubbed as the highest civilian award of the United States. Supposedly, it recognizes those individuals who have made, quote, an especially meritorious contribution to the security or national interests of the United States, world peace, cultural or other significant public or private endeavors, end quote. Other winners of this award are the likes of Alan Greenspan, Donald Rumsfeld, Tony Blair, and the ever-caring humanitarian David Rockefeller. America's highest civilian honor, the Medal of Freedom, awarded to Samuel M. Walton, March 17, 1992. But first, of course, my respects to Sam Walton, and to Helen Walton, one of God's truly special people. We come here to honor a man who shows that through hard work and vision and treating people right, uh, many good things can happen. Uh, this visit is not about Sam Walton's wealth. He's earned his money, and that's his business. He's been generous with his fortune, and that is in the great tradition of America's commitment to this concept that I call a thousand points of light, enhancing the lives of millions. The story of Sam Walton is an illustration of the American dream. 
His success is our success, America's success. And, sir, you are generous and genuine, tireless and tenacious, and you took risks and helped our country grow vigorous and strong. And your life is going to help them appreciate that ours is the freest, most blessed country on the face of the earth. I salute you, sir, for your vision, and I am proud to give you your nation's highest civilian honor. The world can therefore seize this opportunity to fulfill the long-held promise of a new world order. We can find meaning and reward by serving some higher purpose than ourselves, a shining purpose the illumination of a thousand points of light. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. And so, fast forward to 2015, and Walmart is currently under close scrutiny by many, with the mysterious and very suspicious closings of several Walmart stores across the country, allegedly due to plumbing. Many people are now beginning to connect the dots with regards to Walmart and their connection to the government. Their connection, partnerships, and joint ventures with various government agencies on record now, as well as contributions to the tune of at least $1 billion from the U.S. government. It's no surprise why suspicion and concern is at an all-time high regarding this highly connected corporation.